Hey guys, welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. We're gonna go down this slide. It's like a sewer slide, so it's kind of gross. Down here is kind of an infamous spot in the Ratchet and Clank in the game uh, because it's just kind of an awkward area where the water will continually rise and we have to kind of be quick. And it's just kind of infamous because, well, of all the reasons I just said. Not to mention there are enemies. Ah, no! Oh gosh. Okay. Because now we're gonna have to. We're gonna lose. We're gonna die of drowning. I think we actually move faster under the water than over it. Because there's gonna be a point where we have to start going down, anyways. And with less you know, available time to move, we're gonna drown. I guess it's good that we can just swim up here, but now we're gonna... run out of air, because the swimming speed is so slow. Yeah. I think that's like our first death. But we start right back here, so we can just... go straight down. Okay, let's try this again. Make heavy use of the long jump because you do cover a little bit distance a little better that way. And yeah, one mistake can just kind of screw you up. See, now we're all the way up here and there's no water. But we had to wait for all the water to catch up. And now we can probably go up here. Yeah. Jump over this guy, because he's gonna die when he hits the water when the water hits him anyways. Long jump. Okay. Another low water area. Oh gosh. I think that's it. Yep, water is stagnated. And now this is a slightly turning platform, stairway of, or elevator of spinniness. I feel bad because I'm noticing a lot of texture clipping that I never saw before. And yeah. Oh, so as you can see, there's a button over here and some enemies, and I don't know if you remember from earlier, from like two episodes ago. But this leads to the other the hoverboard race area. See? So there's like a quick pathway between those two. Hey, hey, hey! Press conference is over! Captain Quark don't want no more reporters bugging him in his trailer. Oh, you see, my friend and I need to speak to the captain about a matter of galactic security. You mean you and your walking camera? You paparazzi make me sick, now beat it! But sir, I'm sure the Captain Quark will understand once we- Now, now, save it. I know how it works. You convince me to let you in, you snap a picture of the captain in his underpants, underpants. then you sell a picture to the info tabloid for a million volts! You've got it all wrong! <laughs> I'm stuck here making six volts an hour, and I have to listen to a lecture from that cheapskate Quark. So you don't get in unless I get a kickback. In advance. Oh. Oh, 4,000? Jeez. The grind boots were cheaper than that. Do you have an employee discount? Can I, like, beat you to death with my wrench? Oh, well. You see how it works. You grease the hinges, the door opens. Captain Quark? What's that? It's Ratchet and Clank, Captain. You know, from the hub. Oh, yes, yes, I know who you are. You do? Yes, and thank the galaxy you found me. Wait, what? There's an awful plot being hatched to destroy our planets. Ratchet, he knows. Great. Does that mean we can go hoverboarding now? My friends, we're all in grave danger. And I believe that together, we can put a stop to this madness. Together? You mean you want our help? Look, Ratchet, I've been keeping an eye on you. And I've never seen anyone with such raw talent. 
You are a true hero in the making. Really? You mean I could be famous? Oh, absolutely. Oh, here, take this. Ooh, a thing. What makes one man toil in obscurity while another becomes a hero? Is it strength, compassion, determination, or just pure blind luck? Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question, but Captain Quark knows the secret. That's why he's been able to defeat more despots, rescue more damsels in distress, and save more civilizations than any other hero in the galaxy. Now is your opportunity to see if you've got the stuff heroes are made of. This infobot contains coordinates to Quark's secret base. Can you quickly conquer Quark's killer cannonade of confounded contraption? Can you quickly quark? Can can you quickly quit? No. Oh. <laughs> Just make your way through the defenses to the center of the base. Prove yourself. Learn the secret and earn your place in galactic history. Consult your doctor before attempting any strenuous exercise. Not responsible for death or dismemberment. Your results may vary. Neat. Meet me at. Uh, meet me at my headquarters. Hey, Captain Ratchet, what do you think? We won't fail you, sir. That we sounds won't. awkward. <laughs> Captain Ratchet. Okay, so now we have the coordinates to Planet Umbris, which is apparently Quark's secret training base. Ooh. Blackwater City's nice. It's kind of small as a city goes, but I guess we didn't see all of it. But. Maybe they rely too much on taxis to get them around the actual city. I don't know. So I guess now we're just gonna go ahead and make our way to Umbris. Okay. Quark's headquarters, Planet Umbris. Again, Umbris was one of the planets that didn't make it in the uh, reimagining. So. We're going to be seeing it here for the first time, for the last time. And I'm yawning because, I don't know, I'm tired, my back hurts. I'm getting old. <laughs> and there's Umbris. It is red. I just spoke like directly into the mic, I'm sorry. For your ears. We aren't going to die, we're the main characters, we can't die yet. Also, that planet with the ring looks way more like animated looking than that one. Also, I mean, based on the shadow, the sun is over that way, but that sun's over that way, I don't know. I'm nitpicky. Doesn't mean I don't enjoy it, just means, you know, I, I'm, I'm aware of the issues. I don't know what that means about me. Anyways, we're gonna... There, there's another vendor. Sorry, I'm kind of losing what I was gonna say. I wasn't kidding when I said I was a bit tired. So we have no new weapons. That's kind of sad. Unless it's like scrolled over. Nope, just no new weapons at all. I guess they weren't expecting us to have enough money on Railgar to get the Mind Glove. Which means they weren't expecting me. And whoa, there is a... Tornado of Death going on. Kind of chucks mines everywhere, huh? Rude. Okay, and then there's a bridge and more of those mine. Whoa, what? Did I just get like pushed to the side? I think I did. Oh, it looks like bigger mine glove mines. I'm running out of ammo for this gun. I gotta stop using it. Of course, and then they give me bomb glove ammo because that's the gun that I need ammo for. Oh well. Okay, now we have a 
turret that is just kind of firing a very predictable pattern. Not too bad. Whoa! Okay, so it doesn't die. It just goes down. Alright, another bridge. Oh god, more mines. Um, um... Plus more of those mines. Ow. Oh, there's some health up there. Cool. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, I was too afraid. I, I hate that I can't, like aim and move backwards. I don't know, it's just such a huge issue for me. Why do I... I'm trying to aim. Why are you shooting that way? That worked. And I got some tasty, tasty bolts. Okay, so here there are some buttons. I think we have to hit them all at once. Yeah, and they, I get, it sounds like they cool down after a couple seconds. Ow. Okay, let's try the bomb glove. Ah! I hate these things being just, like, out of range, or just in range, that I have to get hit to hit them. I guess it's like a gameplay thing, you know, it's part of the difficulty, but it's still annoying. Oh, there's some health over here, cool. Oh god, falling platform bits. The brain of my existence. Alright. Oh, and there's another one of these guns, okay. However, based on the boxes that aren't broken, I can probably hang out here safely. Oh, I can hit the little weird face thing and it turns all sad face. That's kind of funny. To me, at least. Actually, I can just do this. I forgot. Those boxes have a weak will and are easily hurt by taunting. And a swing shot. Swing shots are the only swing shots the only thing I have on my quick select because it's the most like useful in that regard. What's over? What's up with this door? I guess nothing. Oh wait, there is something. There's a secret back here. I'm betting there's something in that door that didn't say it had anything in it on the map. Okay. Yeah! Hey, a gold bolt. Yeah, let's taunt these boxes. Oh, we can just hold it down. Cool. Awesome. Whoa, stuff is making freaking noises. I'm sorry, I just poked directly into the mic again. I'm sorry for your ears. Ah. Anyways, 
I think uh, next time on Ratchet and Clank, we're going to continue through the course, because we've got... But we're about halfway through. So yeah. I'll see you then, guys. Take care.